Hey everybody, Rahul here from Skills PT Academic. Really, everybody's doing fantastic. I'm back with it another video. Today's video is all about that experiment with respect to retail lecture and summarized spoken text. What experiment I have got for you? What are the new strategies with that experiment? What marks did I secure? Should I implement that in the exam or not? All we're going to discuss in this video. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. And anytime you need online assistance, you can WhatsApp us to the number given that it's a paid assistance. I'll be there, we will be there to help you guide you in the right direction. All right, without wasting any further delay, let's straight away get into the video. And also, there might be some noises around. Very sorry, I'm not at my place with a lot of difficulty in making this video. Appreciate your patience on this and the cooperation. All right, so let me just share my screen. PT retail lecture and summarize spoken text, new experiment, new strategies. So what exactly I mean by all this? So quite recently, a, a student of mine was not following ours, though we shared the right strategy, was following few methods because of which the listening and writing scores were always less. So we did one experiment to see if that particular thing, which I'm going to talk about in just a while, caused the problem in listening and writing. And then the result that followed, we fixed it and then the person got 90 overall. So that's the video is all about. So we will quickly move on to the template that I've already shared. Any template can be used. Pay more attention. For retail lecture, use a template that gives you a good flow of speech. Before we get into the experiment, let's also understand what templates that can be used. So here the retail lecture template, any template that can be used like I just told you, but this template, the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about. In the beginning, the speaker explained about. Later speaker mentioned about the importance of, here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that in conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about. Or you can say the speaker talked about, the speaker gave important information about what are the templates you have. But an ideal one would be use something that is of lengthy sentences and summarize spoken text use something that is of short sentences because summarize spoken text content matter the most so here the talk was about first the speaker talked about later the speaker said furthermore the speaker provided important or imperative information on in the end speaker left an important note on or you can say the speaker said dash the speaker also talked about dash the speaker in the end talk dash something of that any templates you don't have to pay someone the money for the template all those don't give any mark what gives you mark is what you feel inside the template. That's the video is all about. So the case study that I'm going to talk now, like I told you, a person got low scores in the listening and writing. And when I observed, I told the person not to use the method that we don't advocate, that we don't insist, but still the person used a method from some other person and uh, got low writing and listening score. So I wanted to experiment on that. So what we did, we took an official mock. For some reason, we'll not be able to share official mock uh, because Pearson clearly, you know, like told us that we cannot share the questions or the official mock recording. You may have seen earlier, I have done many of the mocks, but that has been deleted for the same reason that here onwards are not be able to do that. Please understand for the security reasons. So we took the same template, summarize spoken text and read a lecture and used one one word for each plank for example here the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about king in the beginning the speaker explained about government let a speaker mention about the importance of jungle some one one word from the question the same way for summarized spoken text the talk was about education firstly the speaker talked about the king later speaker said he is some very very small small things we put it we put it sorry uh, one word in each blank and we already knew the answers for the rest of the questions. Read aloud, we knew. Repeat sentence, we knew. Describe image, we knew. Uh, essay, summarize written text. Reading FIB, all the questions, we knew the answers. Reading, writing FIB, so was the case. Write from dictation, listening FIB, all the important modules, all the questions we knew. Means the answers for it, we already knew. So we just copy pasted the right answers. And this is the score we actually got when speaking was 90, listening and writing was 79 or 78, I think 78 and reading was 19. So this probably was one of the reasons um, where we understood that you can't simply probably use one, 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 one word for each of the plank. And the experiment did not stop there. Uh, we gave 
टू टू वर्ड्स द लेक्चर गिव्स द इंपॉर्टेंट की पॉइंट्स एंड द रिलेवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट गवर्नमेंट जंगल लाइक दिस टू टू कॉमा 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 वर्ड्स इन सेम वे इन समराइज स्पोकन टेक्स्ट विद ग्रामर ऑल बिकम्स कंप्लीटली मेस्ड अप इफ यू यूज वन वर्ड कॉमा वन वर्ड फॉर द टेम्पलेट करेक्ट व्हेन वी यूज दिस अगेन द स्कोर ऑलमोस्ट रिमेंस द सेम एज पर माय नॉलेज so that's when we understood probably and it's not even letting us get 78 means it is stopping us at 17 79 sorry it's not letting us give 79 rather it's stopping at below 70 and 9 probably this may not work for 79 that's what we understood though summarize spoken text in your lecture they're not high priority modules uh, we may have got some marks there but software is making sure that you're not at a 79 par you, you should not be getting 20 marks because you're not worthy of it you're not able to write the note taking strategy or you are not you know able to make use of the note taking strategy correctly so you should not get that mark so then our experiment did not stop there we continued with using one phrase each phrase with three to four words for each blank there are five blanks so five phrases we gave four to five phrases ideal that's what i've been telling you so that the software will have enough data to understand you you give one word that may not be enough for the software especially in speaking to understand what exactly you meant so we gave one phrase for example the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about it is a government holiday today something of four five words or three four words a small phrase but like that five times we repeat look how much to write like that i'll show you all the new strategies uh, the note taking things everything i'll be explaining you in detail in just a while but when we did this i actually got 90 which earlier i had gotten many times but again we tested if the for if there was any change so this is the experiment that we did bringing you directly here for 65 probably it's still fine you write one word or key one two keywords um and and one more thing if you see speaking is always 90 that means even to get speaking 90 you can speak one one word but to get listening 90 or listening uh, your desired score perhaps you need to give content so what matters for speaking is more of a fluency than the content and what matters for listening is more of a content than the fluency correct so here content actually gives more marks to listening than speaking that's what we identify that's what i knew before as well i've been telling since ages you can check my videos but have we experimented this recently so you can count on this information you need 50 you write one or two words and just finish it off in each blank you need 65 you can still escape probably in the best case possible or worst case possible but for a 79 i always suggest people to write on your own only because you can write if it was so difficult i wouldn't have asked you to do that it's easy so now i'm going to show you how to do that so that you get good marks to listening from your written lecture and summarize spoken text so let's quickly understand how do we do that i've got a written lecture strategy the strategy is very simple <coughs> See now you have to write a little lengthy words. So what people think? I will not have a lot of time to do that. Correct? When you divide the time and plan it to the perfection, it actually becomes very easy to do it. In my engineering, I had a subject called operating systems in computer science. There we had this round robin algorithm where a computer has so many actions, so many things to do. It will not do all at once. It will pick one task and do it for. 5 millisecond other task do it for 5 millisecond again one task do it for 5 millisecond other task do it for 5 millisecond but it looks like for us that software or the computer is doing independent actions it is not doing independent actions is doing one action after the other but the switching is so fast and the time is taken very less for each action that you end up thinking oh computer is doing multiple actions uh, at a given time no the same way here you divide the listening and the writing skill pay more attention in written lecture and summarize spoken text you listen you write you listen you write so here as well don't listen and write at the same time pay more attention when you listen and write at the same time out of probably 100 some 10 15 people can do that effectively the rest mess it up completely so know yourself before trying this method if you can do the listening and writing simultaneously then you don't need anything your albert einstein you should be able to get 90 overall problem is when we are not albert einstein <laughs> correct just kidding so here if you have a trouble here in note taking then don't listen and write at the same time you listen for 5 seconds when you listen don't write and after listening close your ears start writing for 5 seconds 
pay more attention in this method you may miss some important things correct important things rather you are writing and you are missing that particular content there is no important content that's the new strategy pay more attention we tested even this psychologically we think oh this is very important content for this particular audio and you write that and you don't write that you get the same marks so this is the new thing that i am talking about just listen and write when you write don't listen you may miss few things it's totally fine the important thing doesn't matter all you gotta do is get some audios get some things from the question so when you listen don't write when you write don't listen so the idea being five seconds you listen and when you listen don't write and now you listen to the five seconds you understood oh this particular thing is what i'm going to write and then close your ears and just start writing let the noise make let the sound uh, be there the audio be there don't even bother about it and when you do this you will have some four to five phrases or more than that in your hand by the time the audio ends so post that write four to five small phrases phrases not just the keyword that's exactly what the point i'm talking about and sorry on that and then never try to understand what you read this is again the new strategy where people try to make sense people try to speak a perfectly grammatically correct sentence is not required in speaking. In written lecture, it's not required. When you try to correct the grammar, that's where your marks goes for a toss. When you fumble, software will not be able to understand you. As a result, speaking gone, listening gone, be very careful. And never try to understand what you read. Sometimes you have written something and it's not making sense. For example, the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about, um, let's say, in the air, something. About in the air is not making sense. But what people think, oh, I have to leave a grammatically correct statement is not required. Logically correct statement is not required. Whatever you have written, just read. It's like read aloud. No, whatever in the read aloud, right? Whatever is there, you read it. The same way here in written lecture, whatever is there, you read. You try to correct it, you will mess it up. Never bother about grammar while you speak. So, what do we do? I have got a demonstration now. I'll show you the new method. Um, I'll show you the note taking strategy as well. So let's see how uh, how to implement this five seconds of uh, listening and five seconds of writing. All right, I am gonna play the audio now. I'll let's start with this. Don, what are you doing with all that candy? Oh, great. Now I'm going to have to find some place else to hide my stash find, of goodies. To I hide my stash of goodies. I'm not listening now. Now, I'll if write, that is in the pot uh, calling the kettle black. To what hide are you my implying, stash. Yeah. I'm not listening. Well, did you stash. know that in several laboratory experiments, scrub jays, relatives of the blue jay, scrub jays hid their extra food, food more I'm not cautiously I'm not when other jays were around? Scrub jays. In fact, if another jays. scrub jay were visible when the first jay buried its food, the first jay was more likely to dig up the food later and rebuild it in another like location. So what does that have to do with my candy? Well, I'm not it shows that some birds are capable of more complicated behavior than we previously later. thought. Scrub jays are notorious for stealing food from each That's other. So, so the fact that they behave food, more cautiously when other like scrub jays are present scrub might mean that they're able to speculate about the future behavior of their observers. Birds from species not known for thievery don't no, show no, the same reburying behavior. Oh, so you're arguing something like, it takes one to know one. It takes exactly. One to one. In it fact, when one. scientists allowed some scrub jays to dig to up one, another jay's enough, food after seeing where one. it was... Uh, this should be enough. Now we have the things ready. We have the things ready. What do I do? Uh, I'll just rearrange this. Um, we have everything ready. Just hold on for a second. So we have the template. This is NFC. I use some 40 seconds to note, note this down because there is a way out. That's exactly what I showed. I listened. When I listened, I noted down, okay, this I can speak. This I'm not. Oh, this is a small thing that I can write. That is the experience. That is the art that you will get over the period of time. And when you have this, just speak. Once the audio ends, 10 second timer I will do that. Post that. You've got to start speaking. <clears throat> How to speak, whatever you have written, simply read. Don't mess up with the fluency. Don't have to worry about the grammar and everything. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about to hide my stash of goodies. In the beginning, the speaker explained about scrub jays, relatives of blue jays. 
later speaker mentioned about the importance of first day more are likely to dig up the food later. Mm -hmm. Here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that scrap jays are notorious for stealing food. <clears throat> In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about it takes one to know one. This is the way to speak. This is the way to do written lecture so that you get enough marks towards your listening. Two written lecture may come in the exam these days. So eight marks will come from written lecture towards your speaking separately and listening separately. The same way for repeat, sorry, the summarized spoken text. So avoid using keyword method. Use this. You will have a very good score in your hand. So that's all about written lecture. We quickly move to summarize spoken text. But before that, we will have some note, the summary of the written lecture. So this is the summary of written lecture where you can't fumble. Trust me on this. You fumble uh, bu 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 software don't understand the content so listening also goes down uh be very careful about it and no hesitation the lecture gives gives the not should not happen intonation you give content software will not be able to understand don't intonate don't go the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant don't go up and down pitch issues have to be fixed when you have that thicker voice especially for a male candidate Content software will not be able to understand. You will be following everything that I talked about, but still software will not be able to understand it. So you need to fix this pitch issue. Check my speaking recent changes video. I've explained how to increase the pitch, especially for a male candidate to 140 by downloading voice pitch analyzer or voice tools. For female candidate, 99.999% of the people will not have pitch issue. Don't have to worry unless your voice is very, very thin. It's going above 300. Otherwise, there should not be an issue. Uh, some people will have a very, very thick voice like male. So, if female candidate has that, increase it to 180. Between 180 to 300 is an ideal pitch for female. And normal speed don't have to go very fast. You speak very fast, content marks will go down because software will not be able to understand you clearly. Listen and then write. Don't listen and write at the same time. That's where you mess up things and write phrases instead of keywords. I Hope you have understood everything that I talked about in written lecture. Now, quickly move on to the summarized spoken text. Uh, the summarized spoken text strategy, same strategy as the written lecture. Don't listen and write at the same time. Divide them when you write, don't listen. When you listen, don't write. And five seconds you listen, five seconds after that you write. Five seconds you listen, five seconds you write. And write four to five small phrases instead of keywords. Here as well, I advocate people, I insist people not to write keywords. Go with phrases because phrases are known to give better marks towards your listening because content matters the most and then use the template whichever the template you have don't have to change the template it doesn't matter but write four to five small phrases don't have to pay someone the money for the template don't have to ask is this working i will give you money please give please don't do that grow up at least now there are people in the media uh, giving you false hopes about the template i'm telling you the right things it's all about how you feel inside not a template software will not know what is template Okay, you can use this template, yes, but it all boils down to how you use it, how you, um, you know, write the sentences inside it. Simply using template will not get you 90. Uh, write four to five small phrases and use the template. Write a grammatically correct sentence in the written lecture. Grammar doesn't matter, but summarize spoken text. Grammar matters the most. Spelling matters the most. You ought to be very, very careful. I'll show you how to do that. You can watch my recent essay video. It's a full course. I've made approximately one hour, close to one hour or 45 minutes. There I've explained how to write a sentence by minimizing the grammatical mistakes. The video is somewhere in the bottom or somewhere here. You can check. Recently, I made um, essay 2023 uh, complete strategy video. So there I've explained how to write compound sentences by clubbing two sentences, write one sentence, write one sentence, add and it becomes a compound sentence, complex sentence in a very easy way. So make use of that video. The link will be in somewhere here in the description. That will help you understand more about how to make less mistakes, how to minimize the mistakes in your essay writing. Same, you can apply to this as well. Grammatically correct sentence is required. Uh, logically correct is not required. Meaningful sentence is not required. Don't have to produce a logically correct sequence like I just told you. So with this, I'll show you a demonstration. Let's see it's the same audio as the written lecture. We have the notes ready the same way you take. But now I'll show you how to write that grammatically correct uh, thing for a summarized spoken text template. Let's see.
So that's exactly what I've got already. I have written this. I showed you how to write. Now I have the Rita lecture template. Let's quickly finish this off. The talk was about to hide my. I think I have written a grammatically correct sentence. If you have not, then you have to fix the grammar. That's also very, very important uh, to hide the stash of uh, goodies. We'll correct the grammar in just a while. The speaker spoke about. Now I am correcting the grammar. You don't say he talked about scrub jays, relatives of blue jays. That's a grammatically wrong sentence. You can write he talked about scrub jays and full stop or scrub jays being the relatives of blue jays. Nicole, why is it like that? That is English. You got to learn them uh, <coughs> about scrub jays or which are the relatives of. You can just add this thing so that they make a grammatically correct sentence. Um, one second, I think my I'm hiding there the sentences. Okay, little speaker said first J more or likely is a wrong sentence. First J is more or likely uh, to dig up pay more attention to dig up the food later. Furthermore, the speaker provided information on scrub jays, which are notorious. See, I'm trying to fix the grammar. You see, I'm not just copy pasting it. This is required for data lecture for summarized spoken text for stealing food. In the end, the speaker left an important note on why it takes. See, I'm adding this why, how. This, this is where you need the feedback. It's not about simply writing whatever you've written. Grammatically, 100% wrong sentence. Listening and writing will go down. This is where you need the feedback. This is where if your English is not good, if you're not getting it, is where you need the course. Not everybody. Hope you're getting it. Why it takes one to know one. So now if I see, I think it's more than 70 words. 72 words are uh, not bad. So what do I do? I will reduce it to 70 words. The talk was about let's fix this grammar everything now. At the bottom I'm seeing that 72 words there to hide my stash of goodies. The first speaker talked about which are I'm gonna remove this the. Uh, the speaker said first J is more likely to dig up food later. The food is okay. I remove two articles. It's still making perfect sense. I think it's 70 words. This perfectly fits in. Uh, right at least between 65 to 70, don't exceed 70. Or 60 to 65 also will do, but write as much as possible you can because content marks is important. What's your listening model? All right, how you felt about the video? Sorry for the background noises if there was some. Uh, I was, it was unavoidable. Um, do leave your appreciation with a thumbs up if you like the video and any doubts on this video do leave a comment uh, myself or my team will get back to you at the earliest i really hope this new experiment new strategy video has opened a new perspective for you for those who are using keyword method avoid using it only for the fact that you may get you are you will get less course less content marks towards your listening and um, writing um be very careful so with this uh, i think i'll park the video here this is nakul signing off from uh, skills pt academic uh, soon i'll be back with the next set of video till then take care bye